How real is reality? Well, uh, our senses are just capable of taking up a certain amount of vibrations. If it goes beyond that, then we are blinded or we, our dog gets nervous or young people get nervous, but we don't. Because, or if we go beyond a certain amount of vibrations, then, well, everything is dark or shakes or something like that. So just through our senses, our intake is limited. Then on top of that, we have, of course, our cultures, which tell us to look at this and not look at that, you know, and so on, and gives us certain values, a certain inner system of, of thoughts and feelings and so on that will that motivate us. And on top of that, then again, there is upbringing, there is, uh, well, political values that are imprinted on us and so on. And actually, what we experience is quite colored. If we want to really experience what is there, we have to go to the aspects of mind, the levels of mind, which are beyond any limitation. We have to get to the level in meditation where the experience of the thing experienced and the act of experiencing is one. And what we discover there is exceedingly enjoyable. First we discover that mind in its essence is indestructible, it's like space, it cannot be harmed or hurt. Then we understand that this space is conscious, it's capable of knowing, understanding, which is a very rich and wonderful quality. And finally, we also understand that there is no limit to it, which will gradually make us kind. When we stop making separations between others and ourselves, and simply do what is most useful for the greatest amount of people, then this is exactly what it's all about. This is the important thing to do with our lives.